Hey, what's up? So this isn't my typical video, but I've been nerding out over cryptocurrency lately. And I found that it's actually really, really easy to create your own token. So I figured I would share. Um, we're going to walk through the entire step-by-step -step process, and you can literally follow along with me at home. You don't need any coding experience. You don't need to download anything. And to try this out and play around with it, it's completely free. So we're going to walk through step-by-step -step the entire process of creating your own personal token on the Stellar Network. Let's do it. First, let me show you how we have this whole layout set up. So we have a couple of browser windows open and a section for notes. Here on the right-hand side, this is laboratory.stellar.org. It's where we're going to be performing all of our network operations. In the top left, this is stellar.expert. We're going to be using the blockchain explorer to kind of check our work. And then the bottom left, this is a section for notes where we have our public and private keys of the two accounts that we're going to be creating. So with that, let's move on to step one. In step one, we're going to be creating two Stellar accounts. One we're calling the issuer account, and the other we're going to call the distributor account. So go to Stellar Laboratory. When you do this for real, you'll be on the public network, but for now, just to play around, we're going to be on the test network. So click test, then click on create account, and click generate key pair. This will give you your public and secret keys. You want to copy and save these. Now side note, make sure only you hold and control your secret key. This is crucial. You want to protect and secure your private key from everyone. Once you have your key pair, we then need to activate the account. On Stellar, an account only becomes live once you fund it with the minimum balance. So let's deposit some lumens. On the test network, they give you lumens for free to play around with. You just need to click fund this account and then click get test network lumens. There we go, successfully funded. And we can actually check this by taking the distributor public key, copying that and go to our blockchain explorer. Make sure you're on the, the test net and then search, just search that public key. Look at that, the account was created, it's live, and it's got 10,000 lumens XLM in it. So create your two accounts. When you do this for real, you only need two lumens in your issuer account and three lumens in your distributor account. So right now it's pretty cheap to do. Think of the issuer account as like the owner and manufacturer of this new token and the distributor is like the retail merchant. The way this works is we're going to be creating a trust line from the distributor to the issuer and then the issuer account is going to make a payment to the distributor account of that new token. So let's move on to step two and create a trust line. On the Stellar Network, multiple tokens can have the same name. So before an account can receive any other tokens outside of the native one, Lumens, it needs to confirm that it trusts the issuer of that token. So in step two, we're going to be performing an operation from our distributor account to create this trust line to the issuer account. We do this in Stellar Labs by going to Build Transaction. This is being done from our distributor, so we're going to grab our distributor public key and put that in for source account. Then we get to transaction sequence number. This is a safety feature of Stellar so that an old transaction can't be executed. We need to grab that next sequence number, so click fetch. Then go down to operation type and we're going to select change trust. Here is where we get to name our token. So if you want a typical stock ticker four character name you click on alphanumeric four and if you want like a full name you click on alphanumeric twelve so we're gonna put in the name of our new token here and then the issuer account ID this is where we're selecting our issuer public key we're gonna put that in there this is where we're trusting the issuer as the manufacturer of this token so click that, that is all we need for this operation, and click Sign In Transaction Signer. So now we are on the Sign Transaction page. This is where we authenticate the account performing the transaction. So we are going to grab the password to our distributor account, the private key. We're going to copy that and paste that in the signature field right here. And then we click Sign In Transaction Submitter. 
This is like the pre-confirmation page where you can see all the details of the operation. Uh, to submit, you just click Submit Transaction. Takes a couple seconds. There you go, it says Transaction Succeeded with One Operation. So we can actually see the trust line by searching for it in the Blockchain Explorer. Here in Stellar Expert we have the public key to our distributor that we searched for. I'm just going to refresh. And look at that! the new trust line to our new token asset right there. And you can actually see it in the operation history. Um, there you go, established trust line. Okay, step three is where we create the actual token asset. And this is done by simply making a payment. So we're going to go to build transaction, click clear form contents and start over. This will clear everything. This is where we're going to make a payment from our issuer account to our distributor account. So grab the public key of the issuer and put that in for source account. Got to fetch that next sequence number, so click that. Then go down to operation type and select payment. Here is where you'll put the destination as your distributor public key because we are paying the distributor. For asset, you got to select what you chose before. So put in your asset code and put in the public key of your issuer. Because remember, you always have to select the correct manufacturer of the token. So it's going to ask for that issuer ID. Here in amount, this is where you choose the amount of tokens you're issuing. Now, while your issuer account is unlocked by default when you create it it's unlocked you can create as many payments as you want you can always issue new tokens as long as the account is unlocked so feel free to make this number low it doesn't need to be a billion coins we're just gonna put in the total amount we want to issue at this moment okay. and then click sign in transaction signer since this is an operation from the issuer, we're going to sign it with the issuer private key. So put that in for the signature field. And then click Submit. Okay. Remember, this is the pre-confirmation page. It all looks good, so click Submit Transaction. There we go, it took about five seconds, but transaction succeeded. Let's go over here on our distributor account and check to make sure that it worked. We're gonna refresh, and look at that. We now have a balance of our new token. There it is. If you made it to this point, give yourself a round of applause. You did it. I always knew you could do it. Sincerely, great job. There's one more thing that I want to show you, and that is creating a sell offer for your token. On the Stellar Network, you can sell your token for anything. Let me show you how to do it. Go to Build Transaction, clear the form. We are going to be making a sell offer from our distributor account because that's where all of our coins currently are. Grab the public key of the distributor, put that in for source account, fetch the next sequence number, then for operation type, click Manage Sell Offer. For selling, this is where you want to choose the asset code you used before. And you're going to need the issuer public key for the issuer account ID. Put that in there. For buying, this is what you are selling your token for. Now remember, you need a trust line to interact with other assets. So if you don't have that trust line set up, you can only sell your token for lumens, which is the native asset. That's why we're clicking native. This is how many we are selling. So I don't want to sell all of them, just a few. And then this is where you set the price. I don't think a lot of people are going to buy this. Plus, it's only a test, so let's just do one lumen per coin. And then for offer ID, since this is a new offer, we just put zero. That means new offer. And then click Sign In Transaction Signer. This operation is being done by the distributor, so we use the distributor private key to sign it. 
click submit click submit and there we go transaction submitted let's refresh our explorer and then over here where you click on offers there we go placed new offer to sell some of my tokens for XLM at this price there you go so I hope you like that tutorial if you have questions I'm sure you have a ton of questions so feel free to comment below and I'll reply to everyone if you want some of my personal token there's some information in the description and yeah make sure you hundred percent control your private keys can't stress that enough so be safe and yeah that's it peace